Well, the doors at the Bombay Bay Hell restaurant in Mississauga are still closed three months after two suspects walked in and set off an explosive device. Now, 15 people were injured in that bombing, and now six of them are filing a lawsuit against the owners, claiming that the restaurant should have known the bombing was going to happen well before it started. We are victims of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. We believe we were carnage in a turf war between individuals we did not even know. Jeremy Diamond read a statement on behalf of the plaintiffs, two of which walked into a news conference on crutches. The lawsuit is seeking $1 million for each of six victims who say they've suffered emotional and physical trauma after the explosion. The lawsuit claims the bombing was carried out by a rival faction in a turf war between business associates and that the owners of Bombay Bay Hell knew or should have known that they would be a potential target. If they knew there was a threat, they knew there was a problem, there was some sort of threat in the community, then they needed to either shut down or do some sort of extra proactive steps. And that's what we need to find out and that's what this lawsuit will do. A surveillance image has been released showing two unidentified people walking into the Mississauga restaurant on the night of May 24th and then running away from the plaza. While the plaintiff's lawyers say they've received tips and heard rumors of an alleged turf war, the police say that's not the case. At this time, there's no indication um, that there is uh, a turf war. Uh, we haven't received any reports of threats against the restaurant, and uh, we have no reports of previous threats against the restaurant. That's more of a fishing expedition uh, in terms of saying, I heard rumor, innuendo, etc. I mean, the courts look at facts. A uh, lawsuit should be based on evidence uh, or factual foundation. There's nothing in here. We brought the statement of claim to a lawyer who is not connected to the case to get his take on the allegations. They include the claim that if the restaurant had closed and locked their doors on time at 10.30 p.m., the bombing would not have happened. The explosion went off at 10.32. Most restaurants give their patrons a reasonable period of time to clear out of the restaurant before they actually say it's closed for the night. So, again, seems to be grasping at straws here. Now, we have reached out to the owners of the restaurant, but we have yet to hear back. Police say that they will provide an update to the public about this investigation as soon as they have one available. In Mississauga, Tammy Sutherland, City News.